Hi everyone, this is a part 2 of the initial guide which I introduced uh, regarding research proposal and dissertation guide. This, this time, uh, this is about understanding structure as well as understanding essentials of research methodology. We will understand research methodology as it is. Just to recap what we have done uh, in the previous session, we said uh, it is about uh, writing a report which would have six to seven chapters including app plus appendices introduction to research project literature review research methodology data analysis and finding and then you discuss your findings and results uh, provide recommendations and conclusions and further research scope uh, put re references and appendices etc you also said objectives could be three levels first is identifying classifying discussion second is about exploring critical evaluating assessing and examining and the third level was formulate produce develop recommend propose a conceptual model and developing and testing model and providing recommendations we also mentioned uh, what is known as concept of research map and the research funnel uh, or in lit literature we so we we had covered one topic for example impact of social media marketing on brand loyalty how do you can focus this topic from broad introduction to the field in the literature review chapter broad focus we cover marketing and consumer behavior theories social media advertising and branding theories brief of those uh, leading to more refined and focused area which could be choosing a particular social media and its features and this tool of advertising and promotion and then uh, looking at some brand loyalty models uh, and then the last thing is ending uh, towards more conclusive uh, focused area impact of Facebook advertising on brand loyalty you develop a conceptual model and then you put hypothesis or assertions put forward today we are focusing on research methodology what you see in front of is research onion by Sanders now this onion has layers uh, starting from outer layer which is what the philosophy so bro uh, broadly two philosophies uh, positivism versus interpretism once that is covered you go to the next which is approach deductive or, uh, or inductive you will see that positivism is close to inductive and interpretivism is close to in, uh, inductive and then you say the third layer is a strategy once a strategy is about uh, how you collect data do you do experiment survey case studies or grounder theory or any other archives research and then you think of methods uh, quad quad methods and then you do long time uh, long general cross-sectional studies and then you think of particular better data collection analysis what i've done now uh, in the next slide you will see uh, split this onion into questions so uh, you have to discuss your research methodology and why it's not all over the theory theory but also about practical application of that so first thing question is regarding philosophy uh, what is your research philosophy and why uh, are you taking positivism or interpretism point of view uh, then you're cho choosing the purpose purpose can be descriptive or explorative or causal uh, research descriptive is like uh, describing the facts as it is for example what you see observe today uh, explore is finding deeper things which are not obviously uh, possible in current research uh, I mean till the search and you are exploring further causal and relational research is about the cause and effect relationship uh, methods uh, could be qualitative and or quantitative or mixed methods of research so decide which one and why uh, logic approach could be inductive or deductive uh, data sources could be primary or secondary sources Data collection strategy could look look at the same range of things like survey, case studies, experiment, grounder theory, or secondary sources. Population uh, is the whole of the target people you are asking questions, and sampling is a part of that. And then sample size. So, are you using probability sampling or non-probability sampling, and the sample size? And then you also talk about research instrument, which you are either you are collecting data using a questionnaire or using an interview. Uh, or using an observation sheet or themes or codes you also must mention the methods of data analysis so for example in quantitative you can have descriptive relational hypothesis testing tools 
and in qualitative you could have codes themes content analysis template analysis or ground your theory etc and stuff and the last thing in the research methods is talking about the ethics limitations and uh, schedule of activities time plan which is gantt chart now next slide will tell you more details about the choice uh, the binary or trinary you're using but do remember that all things are research on and are very integrated so if it's a positivism point of view of philosophy the research is definitely most likely to be deductive uh, and then if it's deductive and positive it will be quantitative and if it's a quantitative uh, deductive and positivism then it will be experiment and survey method of data collection on the other hand if your philosophy is interpretism uh, your 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 logic or approach will be inductive your method will be qualitative and the methods of data collections will be interviews ethnographic grounded theory and so on. please remember that this there should be consistency of stand so if you say quantitative it means you have already decided positivism deductive and experiment and if you say qualitative you have already decided is interpretism inductive and interviews as stars please remember the interrelationship between all those things uh, this slide and the following three slides are giving you more specific information about the thing so first thing is think of the topic why doing this research is it research to describe something or explore something new or find a cause or relation between two things or more than two things if it's a descriptive research then your purpose is to identify to describe to discuss facts so for example market share of a company uh, or, or, or the what customers are talking about a company how many co are complaining about the company describe the things as they are on the other hand if your research is about to explore to determine uh, into unknown areas uh, uh, in the field of studies which has not been studied and the concepts are very new theories have been not existing and is a social or behavior theory then of course your research will be exploratory research uh, on the other hand if you're saying there's a cause and effect for example ad effects sales and motivation effects performance and the teamwork leads to happiness and so on if you're looking at those cause and effect relational research or predictive research then of course you are looking at cause and effects and you are using words impact influence relationships between variables uh, similarly for the philosophy philosophy is about uh, two broad areas positivism and interpretism uh, it means that uh, for example if you're looking at this duster if it is really existing it is out there if you think this is a separate than you as a researcher you are thinking of positivism on the other hand if, if you think this uh, white wood duster is part of your brain it is inside you than your interpretism so interpretism is more about subjective interpretation of the phenomenon and positivism in reality most of scientific studies are positivism which means objective reality quantitative and they use theory to test it on the other hand if it is interpretism research you are doing some subjective research uh, based on subjective interpretation of reality most likely be a qualitative research exploratory research and your main aim is to developing new themes new concepts and new theories uh, next stage is third stage methods what are the methods using why methods using there can be two broad methods quantitative and qualitative methods quantitative methods are for answering questions of what and why uh, remember the concept can be measured uh, so if you're saying motivation it has to be measured if you're saying profit it must be measured if you're saying uh, indicators of some success you must be measured so concepts should be measurable in the form of quantity or number which means maths and the purpose is for testing hypothesis or the theory using large numerical data on the other hand if it's a qualitative research then the most likely question is why something is happening theory is not answering that it's maybe first time you are trying to explore that so concepts needs exploration they cannot be measured numerically because they are phenomenons or they are views of people these are attitude or something which can be measured uh, and the purpose is developing new concept new theory new models uh, then look for the next uh, stage which is logic or approach there can be two approaches of research inductive and deductive inductive approach is when you go from one case one data and then you start developing a theory or concept so from one data one case to theory development is inductive on the other hand if you start with a theory and test those theories using hypotheses or assertions which means you go from general theory to a specific case then this your research is 
deductive approach. Uh, then data sources could be primary or secondary. Primary means first-hand data. It is a faster method, is a current data, it is accurate raw data, and information is current and relevant. Secondary data is a second-hand. Somebody else has collected for, uh, for his or her studies, and you're using this data. This can be annual report of the company or national data for the government data. Uh, and it's, of course, it will be out-of-date do, date data. It, if it's cheaper, yes, you, because you can find it. Uh, easily uh, and faster but who who will take guarantee of his reliability and validity of the data and then is data collection strategy uh, uh, so are you, how are you collecting data survey case studies experiment grounded theory or secondary sources uh, survey is used under positivism quantitative deductive questionnaire based uh, large sample based primary data collections method Case studies mostly interpretive, which is really could be really positivism, but mostly interpretive, qualitative, inductive, theme-based company, for example, a secondary data of expert or analytical study. Experiments are usually in situ, in situation experiments are created for analyzing cause and effect, either qualitative or quantitative research. Grounded theory with the researchers uh, collect qualitative data by interview, explore, he's trying to explore research and develop theoretical concepts. Uh, so the main purpose is from data, the theory will come out in the grounded theory. So the theory is hiding, hiding in the ground of the data. Uh, then uh, population, the people you are targeting to collect data from, and then sampling can be probability or non-probability sampling. Obviously, you want a representative sample. That can be only a probability sampling method, a random sampling method. There are a range of that. You can study that more. On the other hand, if you are looking for a convenient or judgmental or snowball sampling, it's a non-probability sampling, obviously not representative and could be biased and may not represent, but people do take, they take for the qualitative research, the small sample, the judgment of who can answer the questions. And then the next stage is the research instrument, uh, which means questionnaire, what questionnaire you're using, or are you using interview or observation sheet or codes. Questionnaire is mostly a closed ended set of questions and it's for the quantitative research and it's a deductive positivism approach. On the other hand, if it's interview, uh, it means an, a few and open-ended questions and these are for exploratory, qualitative, inductive, uh, sometime analytical research. Observation sheet is uh, looking at the codes and themes case based on experiment-based methods. Uh, then method of analysis, how, what you will do with the data which comes so are you doing if it's a quantitative you'll be doing description which is a mean mid and moon percentage charts tables and the relation which is correlation or regression or, or hypothesis testing t-test or any kind of test of differences or test of relationships on the other hand if your approach is exploratory inductive qualitative then methods can be ranging from coding data identifying themes content analysis groundwork theory and template analysis uh, and the last topic of the research method is taking care of ethics and, and uh, limitation of research and time plan. Remember, a good research methodology has three characteristics, reliable, valid, and generalizable. Make sure your research is reliable, which is repeatable, trustworthy, valid, instruments are fit for purpose, and generalized. It can be extended from one case to whole population. These are three important characteristics of any research. Uh, when you're talking with ethics, so you must sign ethical form, which is from university or the college. Uh, you must make sure data uh, uh, is uh, collected uh, safely and the privacy of the people is protected and you are following full ethical procedures. Also, uh, you want to discuss limitation of research methodology. Each method has a limitations because it will bring in the questions of reliability, validity, and generalizability. That's how you criticize. And the last topic of research method is talking about the time plan, which is a Gantt chart of activities of the chapters which you are carrying out. Uh, once you've done ch that chapter uh, uh, of uh, research methodology, you go to the next chapter, which is the finding and the results. As you already said, is chapter about uh, if it's a quantitative analysis, you're carrying out description, relational, hypothesis testing, extra. So description is percentage, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, data tables, frequency tables, data visualization, including graphs, charts, bar charts, 
and maybe trend hypothesis test on the other hand if your approach was qualitative you'll be using codes themes content analysis and ground or theory uh, you will have sample description, you have the content analysis, a template analysis, code and theme analysis, a grounded theory, and you have qualitative visualization of the output of the codes and themes using softwares or manual, and then you're linking back qualitative finding to your objectives and literature review. This is findings and the results. Finding usually terms used for the qualitative and results usually for quantitative approach. You make your data visualize in the form of charts, graphs, uh, and other methods. And then there's next chapter, which people, some students don't bother, is about discussing the results. So if you have found some results and finding, this means what? What was expected from the data as your objective? And what was actually found? Was it different? And why this was different, if it's any? If it's the same, why it is same? Linking back your results and findings to your research objectives and also to literature review. Look at back that your finding and some others for authors finding who are supporting, who are anti your finding. So compare and contrast your finding with other researchers. Were the results in line with theoretical literature review or not? And why was that? What were limitation and the scope of future research? This is a part of discussion. This is basically most important part because here you are saying what unique contribution you are contributing in your chapter uh, and your research itself. And the last chapter is about recommendation, conclusion, and the further research provides specific, remember the word specific, linked to the toy title, unique recommendations based on your results and your discussions, not journal stories. Conclude your results in, the, in, in terms of key findings in your research. Please remember to link back to the objectives and also mention scope of the future research based on what you find and what you couldn't do because of limitation of your time and other research methodologies. This is a complete report will finally look like introduction, literature, research methodology, data analysis, discussions, recommendation, bibliography, appendices, and maybe a reflective log. Thank you very much. Keep watching, share your video. Thank you very much.